The rail is, is tall. It's a little tall. That was so sick. That was insane. That was so good. Yeah. Funa was trying the front crook. And Funa's going straight back to it, I think. Yes. And stomped. Handled that. So right now, Funa down in seventh place. How does that stack up to a front feeble? I think it's way harder than a front feeble. I mean, there's just more risk bouncing up on the front. And rewarded 8.3, great score. And this is what I like about this. She got her hard trick out of the way, 8.3. I know that's a staple for her, but now she has five more tries to get something done. Yeah. Still to go. With a score of an 8.3, she is, she is not out of this. No, this is the cool part about the format. You need three attempts. It doesn't matter where they come in the attempts. You just need to land three. Curious where she's going to go with this. She going to go for the back lip again? Yes. That's a cool looking back lip. I like how she stayed on the inside. Yeah, towards that that back truck. Yeah, you know, when I feel like when you're doing it ultra safe, you kind of air towards the front truck. 7.2. Funa now moving up into fifth place. She's still got two. 1.5 points above Paige Hine. Wow. The craziest part, though, is Funa is not out of this, even though she's down in fifth. She has two attempts. She's got an 8.3 on the board. Front feeble. Front feeble. I think it should just get her a little closer to that top spot, but should be good enough to put her into the top three. And, well, and what it'll do is it'll give her an honest, here's what you need to win. 100%. Because getting that third score is so essential. And the re-rack. Seven point five. Look at that, Funa now in third place with a twenty-three even. Pop, getting your speed, but you know, wait for the show to actually land the tricks. Paige Hine, backboard, getting a score on the board. This is where I personally love that strategy. Having the seven different tries and only taking the three means you can get the board slide on this, on there, 4.6, and then just keep building. Keep building. You know, sometimes with the score, it, it is, I mean, it's so big when you stand up there. It's insane. Paige Hine. Wow. Yes. That was sick. Switch from board. You think? Do you think that's hardest trick so far, or I? You know, this is the hard part about skating. I personally think switch front board's harder than a front crook, but some people would. You're also kind of known for the front crook. I front crook a lot, it's but it's your thing. Eight point five. Look at that. All right, so the judges do just barely miss the front truck. If she gets both on, though, it's it's game over. She's going to do it. It's a wrap. Paige Hine coming in switch. Wow, switch 50. Dude. That's so crazy. That is gnarly on a lot of factors. The rail is, is tall, it's a little tall. It's definitely mellow and definitely long. She got a, switch, a good switch throw down. Hot, yeah, the clearance was perfect. That almost looked easier than the front board. For yeah. 
Nine! Whoa, our first nine club. Yeah, that was a big score, well deserved. I mean, switch 50 is heavy. <laughs> All right, Paige, who just got a nine. Front 50. I mean, it's probably going to outdo the 4.6 on the board slide. Yeah, I think we saw a 50 50 earlier and it scored maybe in the fives. She needs a 5.1 for first. And a 5.5 gets her up there with a score of a 23. That's actually just so smart. Yeah. See, we've seen a 50 50, 5. Point. Dakota. Wow. <laughs> Almost fell into our booth. The, the landing's also pretty short. <laughs> keeping that keeping that going though, we've got everyone's doing different tricks. Everyone's doing different tricks. Uh, that crook was sick. That was perfect. I wonder if Funa's gonna come in with the front crook. We got Oh look at that. 6.1 moving her into first. But we got next up, Yumika Oda needs a 2.0 for third. Oh! There's that front feeble. I was saying how hard it can be on square rails, but she made that look pretty easy. Always with that smile, let's see what the judges give that front feeble. It'll be good to ski, see where she scores on this one. Your pick is uh, it's proven to be pretty good. 7.5 up at the top. 13.6 overall. Uh, Yumika right now needs a 2.0 to get up into first. Looks like maybe the stairs. Wow, that flick was very good. She has such a mean kickflip. That, that was really impressive. I think even she might have clipped the last stair even, which I don't think is a flaw by any means. They didn't give a lot of room for her to clear the set, but look at this flick. So fast to her feet. <sighs> I can't tell. I might need Chase's fish yeah. angle later, but seven, seven point. Eight. Yes. Yumika Oda right now in the top spot. 21.4. Uh, Yumika Oda, 7.8 for first. Oh. Dude, you were right. You were like, I think we're going to see a lot more of this. It's just so hard to get set up. And there's no like half stepping at this point. Everyone is going for it. Yeah, there's not a ledge or a bump or anything. You're jumping down the set of stairs every yeah. single time. <laughs> there is one way to get to the, well, there's multiple ways to get to the bottom, but you got to get to the bottom. Oh! Dude. That was so sick. That was insane. That was so good. Oh. And you called it Yumika Oda. Wow, look at that flick. Fast flick, long front board. You can see that in this monster energy replay. 9.2. 9.2, highest score we've seen today. And now she's got a pretty commanding lead. Wow, what a victory. Well deserved, I mean, she she went for it. She kind of like got some scores down. She, she played it safe and then just threw that kick with front board and sealed it. 9.2. That was a great victory right there. And there's your final standings, our podium. Third place, Fuda Nakayama. Second, Paige Hine. And in first, Yumika Oda.
Sean, final thoughts on what we just saw. That was so gnarly. You know, we saw, we saw a lot of hesitation, but we also saw a lot of people coming through, doing things that we didn't see in practice at all. And that was such a sick contest, but Yumika, just too gnarly for everybody else. I'm gonna sound like a broken record. I feel like I say it every single stop when we're talking about the women's, but the progression is unbelievable. Stop after stop after stop. And I love seeing it. Respect. That's gonna do it for the women's final here at SLS Apex stop number three, presented by Monster Energy. But stick around because coming up after this, we've got the men's final presented by Kona Big Wave. So stick around, you will not want to miss it.